Welcome everybody to ATA Conference and welcome to San Francisco. I knew it was going to be great. <laughs> We've been here twice before. It's a great destination. The seafood, which I love. I'm a buddy, she's a newbie. Think about it as your first networking opportunity of the conference. This year I think I've seen more pink first-time attendee ribbons than ever before. I thought it was an incredible turnout, almost standing room only. Just to sit down at a table and know that you can say, I'm new and I'm scared. I don't think there's a single person here who isn't a newbie that isn't excited about helping other new translators. It's my first time and uh, we tend to isolate ourselves sometimes. It's a good way to get out of the comfort zone. The way the lobby is open has really facilitated people coming together in this space. It was live, it was buzzing. It was packed. I think they said that there are 2,000 people there. When you first walk into that group, it's intimidating. It's either you go and look for that face that you know, or you go and introduce and make a face that you know. We are an empty chapter after 16 years of Yeah, 16 years. These are the only friends you have in the world who know what you're doing. And even your spouse and your kids don't understand why you spend so many hours by yourself at the computer away from the family. It's a great excuse to escape from my family for a few days. <laughs> the photo booth came back for the second time around and that's always popular. Photo booth was funny. <laughs> My favorite costume was Super Mario with the mustache. One, two, and three, three. I love my photo. What's up, everybody? We received 400 proposals for 175 educational sessions. Every other one you have to say no to, but what you end up with is a really good quality set of sessions. The way we think and talk about ethics is not helping people to develop good judgment and good critical thinking. It was cool to see um, the speakers that I've listened to so far just really share a lot of great insight. It will help all of you translate better. I'm really learning a variety of business tips as well as specific terminology type information and it's really just a great variety for your overall business plan. It's huge. There's some earbuds for your flight home. The largest exhibit hall we've had. It's always a mob scene in there, and I, I actually really kind of enjoy that. I did a lot of connections through the exhibitors. I got a lot of jobs. Well, right now, we're recruiting for a head office. In terms of translation work. And I would say the discounts on the software and the books over the years have probably paid for one or more conference registrations at least. If you are a new agency that are starting up, we are happy to give you a bunch of free starter licenses that you can give to your freelancers. If you bring your computer to them, they're absolutely willing to sit down and talk you through whatever issue you're going through. It's always great to see both new tools that are exhibited and uh, new agencies as well. Job fair is a great opportunity for us to meet and uh, to socialize with potential clients. You, know, a pleasure. you can even connect with the other freelancers that are there with you at the job fair. You know, you might commiserate with them and say, hey, this is awful, right? At the beginning, it was a little overwhelming. If you're new in the industry, you need to have patience and you need to just uh, hang in there. I took my resume, I made it to a brochure, but if you like the traditional version, just download it right there. If you ever needed to learn how to do an elevator speech, this is a good way to get that personal skill up of saying what you need to say quickly. You can always reach out to me or check our careers page to see if we have anything that I might have missed. I've met, I would say, about five translators and interpreters through Twitter. It's a great way to connect, especially if you use the ATA57 hashtag. What is your Twitter handle? In case we need us, I'll come to you. Ninety percent of the time, I communicate with them through social media, and to see them and remember that oh, they're an actual person is always helpful. It was almost hard to eat breakfast because uh, you had to be on your phone so much. But I got new uh, Twitter buddies, and uh, it was a great experience. 
combination of speed dating and business networking. It's pretty exciting because the, the noise level and the excitement level goes up very, very fast. Preserve the good relationship with that client because you want to have a good relationship with him, but you know you can't do it. You want to make sure that they keep coming back to you. Okay, that's the end of round three. Put your hand on your head and the other hand on your belly and rub them while you turn around. Every person tends to have a different idea about how to resolve whatever question is, uh, is asked. He has copied text, word for word, from her website. Corinne McKay's of the world. Yeah. You want to hold, if anything, to a higher standard, to be honest. Having a way to meet people and to tackle common questions, really understand different ways of viewing you know, common challenges. Today's world is so virtual that you lose that human connection and the ATA brings everybody together. It gives us back that human element to our field. For me, the ATA conference is the friends that I've made. I look forward to coming every year to see the friends, even if it's just to say hi and just see them in person. So it's really great to feel like you're part of a community.